Hey, what's up YouTube and welcome back to the long dark. Last time we left Pleasant Valley via Winding River and searched the Carter Dam. Today is going to end up being a little bit more of a house cleaning episode. We had a lot of weight. I think we were like 40 pounds over in terms of carrying capacity. So we had a lot of inventory management to kind of handle and uh, and drop some things off. And I happen to let my condition drop. It dropped quite a bit from the the dam over to the camp office. So we ended up having to nurse that back to health too. Um, I hope you enjoy the episode. If you do, please drop a like. It helps me out very, very much. But with the intro out of the way, let's get started. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the Long Dark. Last time we made our way through the dam and uh, spent the evening here at one of the... Uh, trailers one of the little camp trailers uh near the dam today we're gonna definitely make our way to at least camp office probably try to um we will attempt to maybe loot some places in mystery lake here uh but the ultimate goal is to get over to muskeg at some point soon and um get the smelting started so we can get the bow uh, we are overweight, heavily overweight, with all the coal that I just picked up and the, yeah, I'm almost 40 pounds over with the, but with the coal and the wood. In the interim, though, we're ho hopefully there's no wolves directly outside here. It's going to kind of keep our eyes and ears peeled. Um, we'll check out this other trailer over here. And, uh, like I said, keep our eyes and ears peeled for a wolf. We are so heavy that if we run into a wolf, it is likely going to be pretty much an instant attack. I do have uh, a flare, at least. I think one, maybe two. We'll double check. Uh, one or two flares. That's food. Uh, we have two flares. So we do have the ability to... Um, deal with a wolf should we encounter one uh, as long as he doesn't get the jump on us we might as well loot this spot here quickly i'll grab the tomato soup i believe that said new i didn't really pay attention uh we'll check under the cabinets uh what's this over here okay just some uh decoration um yeah, I'm going to try to just check here quick, and then we are going to make our way to camp office, I think. We'll start things there. Uh, camp office will probably be our main hub in the region. Let me know if you think it should be trappers. But I feel like camp office is so centrally located that it's like the perfect spot to be in. It's not too far from trappers if we wanted to go there. It is... Um, right off the lake for fishing uh trappers is great but it's a little out of the way it's stale um so yeah i mean if you have an uh opinion on it i'd love to hear it but i think like i said we will ultimately end up camping at the camp office and uh from there we'll look to uh drop some gear and um get a little bit more organized in terms of our tools and equipment for now i'm going to make our way to the camp office uh, i think we'll save this if we do encounter a wolf i think the flare is the best bet hmm is, am i wrong with that the flares are not replenishable and i can't turn it off but if we use the torch, we only got the one. There's the moose, I think. Yeah, there he is. He picked his head up. Um, he's chilling down there. Hey, buddy. Uh, we could do the torch probably faster to light. Uh, I guess it's the same difference. I'm just rambling here. The deer carcass down there. Um, it's cold. I don't have anything warm, like any tea, anything warm. Tea, tea wise, drink wise, beverage wise. Um, so we have to just deal with the cold. That's fine. Our condition's good. We're doing pretty all right. 
I think we just try to slowly meander our way to the camp office. We do a major dump of our inventory and maybe get organized. And then from there, we can start traipsing around Mystery Lake in hopes of um, finding the hacksaw. I don't want to spend too long searching for it, but I feel like we could... Um, I feel like we could, with us being on day 7... I don't think the next cold drop is to like day 10 or 15. So I think technically we could if we wanted to try to spend a little bit of time to find it. If we get the hacksaw, we could get all of the scrap out of the way. And if we have the scrap that we need, then we'd pretty much be able to just do all the smelting at once. We could do the arrowheads, we could do the hatchet, get everything ready. Because um, I need the hatchet in order to get... We need the hatchet in order to cut down the, the limbs. I mean, I could use the hacksaw, but the maple saplings and the birch saplings, we're going to need to get those cut down and get that curing process started. Uh, having the hatchet would be ideal to do that. Um, we, But we're going to want a knife, the improvised one. We're going to want to get the arrowheads crafted. I haven't found any. So in doing that, we probably could knock that all out at once. Oh, the moose can spawn here too. That's good to know. Um, I think if we can make our way to the train car here, I know I can start a fire in the train car, and I might do that. I think that's a good idea. We'd be able to use... We got plenty of matches. We could use the torch to light the fire. I could use up some of our gear. You know, maybe use a charcoal, uh, or a coal, rather to get that fire going we can get a couple more torches in the inventory and then use just basically chain them all the way back to the uh all the way back to or back all the way to uh camp office so the markings for the moose are there and there okay that's good to know i don't see any wolves i love that because that's our biggest concern right now. We'll get in here. We'll start the fire, as I had said. And um, and then we can actually warm up a couple teas as well to help us get over to camp office. There is, <clears throat> there is nothing uh, to pick up in here. There's no uh, actual... There's no actual items. I, there usually is at least something in here. A book, newspaper. Surprise, it's empty. We'll cook these peaches. <clears throat> we'll cook some pinnacle peaches. Uh, I would like to make maybe some tea. Uh, do we have any other... I don't have anything else there, but we can do a herbal. That's fine. Got an hour on that. We are not warming up at all in here. Thought we might be. Move that. Move that and that as well. I'll probably eat the peaches then. Surprise, we're not actually warming up at all. We'll eat this. Should be fine. Always worried about, um, the food poisoning. Got one minute on this. We'll take it. Let's cook another one since we're sitting here. I'll probably drink one. I'll try to save these as we can. Might drink a coffee. Uh, can we cook one more? Uh, we'll go ahead and cook a pork and beans, too. I'd like to try using well-fed. I think at this point, we probably can get away with it. Um, and just kind of, we, if we fill up our food, we should be able to keep things going. There's plenty of stuff to grab. So I'm going to try to go for it. It would help with the carry weight for sure. These are good. Four minutes there, nine minutes there. Pass time on this and take it. And we can pass the time on this as well. And we'll eat that too. And then I think we're going to get out of here. Let's pick this up. Pick this up. And we will grab the last three torches out of this. 
and I'll try to daisy chain them across. I might actually add a couple. We have any sticks? Oh, no sticks, really. Okay. Grab one more torch and we'll go. Hopefully the uh, wind doesn't blow this out and we'll get out of here. It's a bit of a way to the camp office, but it's not too long of a, of a walk. Maybe I'll grab the, um, let me drink one of those teas. Cold, cold. Oh, I had more to drink, huh? Yeah, we'll drink that. Just to help keep us warm for the last leg of it, since we did not warm up as much as I thought we would in the train car. And then we'll chain the uh, torches back to the camp office. So as I said, I don't know where the hacksaw would be. I don't know. I think there's... A, I know that potentially you can find one here. Whether or not... I don't think there's a guaranteed spawn for one, though. Pretty sure I kind of ruled that out in a previous series. Um, I think I searched, like, everywhere uh, that it possibly could be. Like, all the main locations, and I didn't find one. So there's no guarantee there's one here. Just kind of crossing my fingers. We've been pretty lucky so far. So if I could find one, that would be ideal. We'll start with the camp office. Maybe even make the trek up to the lookout today. And try to maybe do trappers. Um, those are like the three main ones. Whether or not we do all of Mystery Lake in today's episode, I don't know. We'll kind of have to see how things play out. Uh, how lucky we are with the weather and uh, and whatnot. But right now the goal is to safely make our way over to the camp office and drop off all this gear because we are super overweight. We are cold again. So we're contending with that, but it's not too bad. And then I will try to get well fed in the next episode or so if we can keep the food up. Hopefully there's some decent supplies at the camp office as well. Let's light this. And voila, there it is. And there's uh, the derailment over here. There's usually some interesting stuff there. Uh, usually there's a carcass too. If we had something sharp uh, to harvest the carcass, that would be great. Um, that's where the hacksaw kind of comes in. You can use that to to um, cut up some of the animals and, and cut down some of the saplings. Uh, but at least we have the heavy hammer. That's going to help us get the crafting done at the forge. Fortunately, I'm not seeing any wolves. I haven't heard any wolves in the immediate area either, so maybe they're not here at the moment. That is fine with me. Uh, no wolves means less danger. Uh, there's some crows there. They're probably flying over the uh, carcass. I think there's a backpack too over here. And there's usually like a flare. At least one, I think. Could be more than one. I'm not positive. I don't know all the loot tables, but certainly at least one would be good since we have two. Having two or three flares on us at a given time for, you know, anytime we're in some bad weather and we need a light source or there's an emergency, it's uh, always a good thing. Backpack's empty. And uh, there's a couple rocks here I think I have. A few. I'll grab one just in case I don't. I uh, like having something to help deter the wolves besides throwing the torch. I don't like throwing the torch. I do think that there's a potential for it to glitch and not be effective. And then you're kind of stuck, right? If he doesn't get scared by you throwing the torch, uh, he's still there. And um, he, being a wolf, is there. And then you're without a torch. So I much prefer to be able to have the fire near me and aim at them with a stone or a weapon to try to get rid of them. Nothing in the metal container, but we did find a, a guns, gun book, which we'll use to light fires in the future. Probably leave those at the camp office so that way we can light um, the stove when we're there. Now, I'm hoping the camp office has a bedroll. 
uh, that would be helpful. That's a big key item that we're missing. But outside of the bedroll, I think we're just missing the bedroll and the hacksaw. Like, those are the two things we're missing. We have a mag lens. Yeah, there's three wolves back there. We have a mag lens. We have, um... We have the mag lens. We have the pry bar. We have the heavy hammer. Is that three or four, four wolves back there? I see two that just crossed the tracks. That looks like one. You can't see my reticle, but basically straight ahead by the electrical post looks like there's another one. So there's one there, one there, and one there. Kind of the worst spot for them to be. And we're no longer warming up. Can I drink a tea? Uh, they're all cold again. Okay, so we want to get inside pretty quick. Um, hmm. I need to get past them, so we're just going to have to basically use the torches to try to get rid of them. I wonder if I could do this. Oh, you saw me. All right. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get closer. I'm cold. Get out of here. Yes, go that way. And we're going to equip that. Let's go. Uh, I'm going to want to reset this torch. Let's just do it now. I don't want to gamble with it. This ain't going to help much either. Okay, let's uh, try to get at least one more wolf gone with this torch. We might have no choice but to light the flare. I just couldn't get enough. I couldn't get enough of a... Uh, Enough torches pulled from that fire. These guys are not on me, though. It's incredible. <laughs> You'd think they'd be seeing me or hearing me, smelling me, any of that. Any of the above. I'm pretty sure we're not going to be able to get past these guys without lighting that flare, though. I don't like that I can't see this guy. This seems like a glitch waiting to happen. I'm somehow sneaking up on this wolf. I'm lighting the flare. Perfect. Okay. Get lost. Yeah, go that way. Okay, good, good. Little precarious, <laughs> if you don't, if you, uh, if you ask me, but that's fine. I don't know where that third wolf went. I'm hoping he kind of went down that way. Oh, there's a deer here. There's a lot of wildlife out today. Uh, but he's that way. Oh my god, we lost so much condition because of the cold. Dang, that sucks. It, like, basically lost everything we recovered. I have to watch the condition better. I always overlook that I'm dying. <laughs> and, uh... Especially on something like Misery, which I eventually want to do another run at. Like, it's so important. And in the early game, you can use it as a resource. But later on, it gets so difficult to um, recover that you can't. And so that's something I got to work on. Uh, when I play this game, is not letting myself lose my uh, condition so much. But we made it. We can at least warm up in here. Probably the first thing we'll do is start a fire. And um, try to recover. Okay, we are warm. I'm gonna, I am gonna start that fire. There's a bedroll, there's a, a pot, cooking pot, a cooking skillet. We're loaded on gear. Dennis is already here. What's up, Dennis? You got anything good for me? No, you don't. That's fine. Your company is all I ask for. Let's see. All right, let's get the fire started. And uh, can we pick a better book? Frontier Shooting Guide. I think that this one. We'll do that. We will use a cattail head and we'll start the fire. Yeah, that's fine. I don't need small arms. Don't need them. Who needs small arms, right? 
All right, let's get this started. We're going to get some water boiling. I'm going to get a, a fire started. Oh, come on. I hope it consumed. I think it consumed that book. I don't know. I'm not going to check. I just want to get this thing started. We'll get this fire started, and we're going to get things um, basically going right away. So let's... uh add a piece of firewood I wish I had more sticks here I don't really want to burn the coal uh, we certainly can we'll drop all for now let's put both cooking pots down very good and we'll put this one down too cool and uh, what else do we have to drop uh, I guess we can we'll search up here in a minute we're warming up that's perfect I'll probably drop everything right here in the front. The flare is so loud. Okay. Um, in terms of this, we can drop this, drop this. That could probably be dropped upstairs. We can drop these. Anything else? That's extra. Okay. We can drop this too. We can drop this, clearly. We're not wearing them. Uh, what else do we have we can drop? fire stuff we can drop so many of these matches drop all drop all uh that's probably plenty oh i do have 14 sticks perfect uh we can drop some of these books i'll drop them upstairs i'm gonna just leave these like here so we can make sure we have those perfect um let's go upstairs for a second i want to drop these sticks off and I want to get the water started. I, I'm glad I put the pots on the stove, but it's a waste if we're not going to be boiling the water. We need at least two hours. Uh, yeah, we'll do 210. We will go ahead and, and boil some water. Get that going, and we'll get this going. Oh. Yep, cook it. Boom. Perfect. Let's drop the rest of these sticks. There's only four left. Very good. We have plenty of tinder stuff. Let's go drop these books over here for now. Leave that. I'll, yeah, let's read it. Okay, back. Take it. And what's in here? Baseball cap. Okay. Uh, we got the sticks. Let's go ahead and leave these books. Fire ri uh, rifle. Firearm skill. So we do not need that book. We've got a couple of those. We've got one of these we can leave. I'm reading that. We can drop all of these for now. I uh, will leave this book over here. I don't remember if I was reading that or not, but let's read the fire one. Uh, those are all glitching out on the floor. Perfect. Anything in these two drawers? No. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, drop this baseball cap. And we'll put that right there. Cool. Uh, those are boiling. We're good here. There's a book there. It's fine. Some more newspaper. I usually like to keep my water there. So we'll put the newspapers over here for now. And let's check. I'll leave the can there. The rest of the stuff down here. Some more newspaper. Anything over here. Another can. Just leave that up on the counter. Some more newspaper. ton of newspaper in this building we got a skillet um what's over here anything another can uh anything else of interest more newspaper and there's some salt leave that up there another wilderness kitchen book uh shelf and more newspaper i will probably go down and break all of the newspaper down into tinder at some point i wish you could burn it like outright without converting it into tinder some antibiotics okay we got some stuff on the workbench there is a cooking skillet some more salt a wet stone got some cooking oil some herbal tea Let's check the top drawer more newspaper perfect Nothing in the middle, too. And 
how about this one? Some scrap, perfect. I think that's our third piece. Let's take this cooking pot, put this here for now, put this here for now, put that there. And I have one in the inventory that I don't need to be carrying at this point. Uh, is that under tools? Here it is. We'll, we'll drop this two and this for now. And this two. What I'm going to do is put this up here. We're going to take that with us. Stick it over here. Perfect. Put this over here as well. Another whetstone and the pry bar. Okay, cool. So we're light. Uh, there's some more newspaper back here. I might line all the newspapers over here. I want to break this chair down so badly. Uh, we'll put this up here. Spray paint, more cans. Uh, if you've watched my series, you know what I like to do with the cans. Put that here, uh, specifically in the camp office. Put that there. And we will drag this out and put it over here. Place it. And then what is a condition? 58. So we're going to want to repair that too. Cool. Uh, what else do we have? And how's this water looking? Eight, eight minutes left and an hour 16 there. All right. Um, let's go ahead and put our cans up on the railing. Much like I do. And that's the last one. Perfect. Got six cans. Wonderful. Okay, what else do we got? We can pick that up. And then we're going to put it in this little magical dumpster right here. Very good. Deleted. Love it. Uh, what else do we need to do? I'm trying to think what else we have. Uh, there's another can for our collection. Very good. Um, okay. So I searched this. These are empty. I searched all over here. There's some newspaper here. We got the water boiling. I'll leave that can there for now. Got a chair here, bedroll, more newspaper, which I need to like find a home for. Uh, we'll take this for now, move this over here to this side. Very good. I've got everything over here. Take that for now. Okay, not, there's a potato, so I did miss some stuff. Uh, just the one though. Just the one, okay. Some wagon wheels over here we can break down later. And um, we got the spray paint, which I don't care about. Yeah, a lot of newspaper, unfortunately, in this uh, building. But that's fine. We've been pretty lucky, uh, I think, with you know all the gear that we found. Um, I'm not going to complain because we found a bunch of newspaper in the camp office. You know, it's what it is, but... It's, uh, clearly we've been pretty, pretty fortunate. Put those there. Okay, I did not search. Oh, I did search this. This must have been empty. Got the stuff here. Uh, we'll take this reclaimed upstairs. Let me just organize this real quick. Got that one there. And we can put that one next to it. That right here. I don't want to forget these before I walk out of here. And that's good. And I have like too many sewing kits, so let's drop them. No need to have so many sewing kits. Put this up here. And we'll put the other one up top too. Very good. I think I have some tools. I don't remember if I left those at the um at the dam. It might actually be in here too. Dude, this keeps happening to me. I keep writing notes in here, and then they delete. And it's annoying. 
Like, what's the point of the journal if it doesn't save? And I have been hitting save. Like, I'm not... It's not like I'm not saving the game or saving the, uh, the journal. I do believe I left the, um, the tools at the dam, though. All right, food-wise, we got a lot of food. We are underweight now, which is great, but we do have a lot of food on us. Uh, I'm not quite sure what I want to do with the food. Got 20 minutes on those. I'm going to add these sticks. We're going to have to go out on a on a fuel run. Oh, actually, maybe we won't. That reclaim got further than I thought it would. I'll drop these two books. Put them up here. Great. Uh, oh wait, there's usually, sometimes there's a mag lens over here. I don't see it. And can it be over here? No. Not that I need another one, but it's something I haven't, wasn't really scoping out for. Um, nope. Okay. Very good. Now we have water. How much water do we have? Quite a bit. So we'll put some there. Put that there. That's good. And we need to eat. Eat that potato. Cool. This is going to bother me. <laughs> I need to stop doing that. Yeah, I don't. We can uh, drop the books now. Drop that. Stop it. Stop it. Thank you. Okay, I hate that. All right, those are done. We've got 30 minutes left. We'll take that, and we'll take that. Perfect. Let's take the rest of these torches. And you... No, don't go to bed. Put it out. Very good. Six minutes on that. Uh, okay. That's probably fine. Okay, we did a good drop-off of stuff. And then I think we need to get out of here for now. Uh, we got all of this stuff. I will maybe take a cooking skillet. Like, just kind of to have something to cook in in case I need it. Um, we're good on weight. I should probably have warmed up these teas, right? I'd like to make some others. How co I wonder how cold it is outside. And I'm going to drop the food real quick, and then we're going to venture out. All right. Is there like a quick drop button? Save that. Put that there. you double click it you eat it learn that okay thank god we didn't just get poisoned there's a bunch of food there and uh, i'm not planning on being gone long i just want to take a look outside maybe go grab some cattails maybe hit up some of the buildings on the lake it's warm we're fine just take a look and pay attention let's grab Rose hips. Perfect. Okay. Grabbed all two. Let's get the sticks over here. So, yeah, we're going to be gearing up more or less, I think, today, now that we just dropped everything off. We, we're going to have to recover our condition for sure. Um, I let that kind of get away from me. And then it comes down to where do we want to go. 
and what do we hope to achieve in the interim so for now we can grab like the cattails down here and uh try to eat yep i'll grab these there's plenty down here we can grab a bunch it's not too cold this is a good time to be out i don't hear any wolves i don't see any wolves on the lake so that's you know i think maybe we do head out onto the lake and check some of the buildings but i don't think that there's going to be much stuff to grab out there like I don't I definitely don't think there's going to be a hacks on any of those buildings. While it's possible, I guess. Uh it's unlikely. I also think we probably want to grab a couple rabbits today. Uh if we can. But I definitely need more fuel if I'm going to keep the fire going. I don't want to use the the coal if I don't have to. Uh usually the coal is is better suited for heating up like a fire if you're outside it's going to generally help you um warm up but in a in a building you're better off using like wood oops i just dropped the cat tail head Give me that um you're better off using uh wood and sticks and stuff to fuel a fire indoors because you have the warmth bonus um like i said the the Coal is more for an outdoor fire where you need that extra, like, oomph on the heat. Uh, what is... Oh, that's the dock. I thought uh, off in the distance there was the, um... Some wolves. Alright, we're grabbing these cattails. I'm gonna try to grab all of these. Uh, we might... We gotta do it eventually. Let's just get them all now. This could be our saving grace for uh, well-fed. In the interim, I know we have quite a a decent amount of food it'd be better if we could get a couple rabbits um but for now we're out here they're out here let's grab them it's warm enough we're not really losing anything uh do i need to go all the way over here should i even bother i don't want to the wind seems to be picking up the weather seems to be picking up which is not ideal uh, there's some wolves back there. I see them. I hear them, too. Oh, come on, wind. Don't start up now. Give me a break, man. I just got out here. I'd like some birch bark. I have one piece. I'd like to find another piece. Uh, and get some tea going. And we need to get some reishis and some other teas uh, stocked up. Uh, we got firewood here. We'll take it. Take the dog food. What's in this plastic container? Anything? Negative. How about this uh, cabinet? Nothing. And we got a couple drawers here. We'll search them as well. Nothing. We could go fishing. I mean, I'm not thinking about doing it today. But the beauty of being out here on the ice is we can do that. And I need to... Uh, mess with the tip-ups like spending a day fishing probably a good idea to get some vitamin C uh, Make sure we're battling scurvy Because uh, scurvy's turned on as well um, And I don't know really how how to measure that I feel like there's uh when you're starting to come down with scurvy. There's probably a warning But not something I have personally encountered What's, uh, okay, there's a couple more cattails here. Do we venture all the way across the lake? It is cooling down. I haven't got any sticks yet. There are sticks on that end. Hmm. It's a fair question. I mean, I definitely want to grab some sticks and stock up on them. But do we want to go all the way over there? If the weather picks up, I can... I should be able to make it back. This isn't like a, a key area I'm going to get turned around in. Another gunsmithing book, okay. Fishing hook, okay. I don't really want to loot the other end of the lake though today. I don't need that newsprint, man. So much of it. 
just take it and then wrong button let's uh what is that even under fire these print just drop both of these and this one yeah and just leave them in here for another day okay perfect uh it's getting foggy did we do enough I don't really want to go to bed. Hmm. <laughs> I'm trying to think on what I want to do next. Some birch trees there. I wonder if there's bark over there. Some there's a wolf over there. It's getting foggy. <sighs> we can sleep without a fire, I believe. Like, I don't think the camp office gets that close, that cold where we wouldn't be able to sleep. I just don't want to waste the daylight when I could be gathering resources, especially because I don't want this to be like 10 days of gathering resources. I just want to be kind of done with it, get it out of the way and uh, and then move on. Some sticks here I'll probably break down that branch. How long did that take? 10 minutes for three sticks? Come on. I could break that faster. It should be like three minutes. All right, we keep looking for sticks. I don't know if there's any up here on like the ridge. Well, we'll find out because we're going to look. Might as well try to um, hit some of these like little nooks and see what's there see what potentially spawns in like the rocks down here and stuff like that so we have a better idea for you know the future and as we play the game i've got all these cattails right i think there's cattails actually along there i don't remember if i grabbed them it's fine i'll save it for another day how many did we actually end up with so we got 33 now that's uh pretty good you only need like 10 to make it through the night um, but we have some other food as well I'm going to start trying to make. And I can always make some pancakes if we get another fire started. I can make some uh, bannock and some uh, some pancakes. And I think we have a couple other things. And I also think that um, if we cook some of those uh, better items, they speed up our cooking. Which I would like to do for sure. Uh, there's a couple birch trees, one there and one here. Let's just see if there's any bark that spawns. There's a stick here. Uh, but I need that extra piece of bark because I could use that to help replenish our condition while we sleep tonight. I don't know what's down this road or this pathway here. It's going to be um, for another day, I think. Keep us out of the red. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try to get some more sticks, uh, before we head inside. And, uh, we'll probably read a, uh, a book and try to call it a night. I'm gonna venture over here just because that deer's here. I think if, I think if there was a wolf in the immediate vicinity, he would, um, he would be running. All right, snag all those. The wolves sound like they're in the distance. We're fine. And what's over here? There's probably some more. It's just too warm not to just grab everything. I didn't see anything by that birch tree. I think these are the birch trees that drop the, the bark, right? So there's always that potential that we'll find a piece of birch bark on the ground here or in this area. I think if I, I think I understand that correctly. I mean, I'm, it's gotta be those. I just don't know if it's gotta be like a cluster of five or if a single tree uh, is enough to spawn a piece in. I think I pretty much picked this area clean for sticks. Grab this stick over here. I mean, I don't need to venture everywhere for it. We can... I thought I saw one. 
uh, let's see in a second here. I'm going to check the inventory, see where we are in terms of, uh, uh, the sticks. 23. It's a decent amount. Okay. We'll go over here quick and see what we're working with. Right, no birch bark. That's fine. There's another birch tree there. Is our dear friend still here? He is. The wolves are still down that way. I contemplated just now going down and maybe checking for rabbits. But since the wolves are right there, we will not. And my hunger's in the red again. Let's see here. Okay, yep, yeah, I've already cleaned I've already picked this area clean, so we're gonna head inside. And then I think we'll spend the rest of the day warming up. Uh we'll eat, we'll read, and uh try to get some sleep. I don't think we need to um I don't think we need to start a fire overnight in this building okay we're gonna drop all of these all right and we have another gunsmithing book we can drop perfect and let's see here anything else i got 32 of these let's eat one all right and then i should probably drop these coffees and the tea that I have so that way if we do start a fire we can um... oh come on Incredible that I have to pick up all these sticks for this coffee. All right, cool. All right, let's drop these sticks off. Perfect. We could drop this off too. Get some weight out of our inventory. I got a couple more teas to drop. I'm going to drop them over here though. And drop. And we'll put them by the fire as well. And then when we start a fire, we just need to make sure that we uh, check them, which I will probably forget and burn all of those knowing myself, but I'm not going to do anything to prevent that because I, I'm not going to, <laughs> we're going to just risk it. Uh, let's see. What do we have? Some peaches, cold, anything I can eat in here. I guess I could warm them up. I don't really want to though. Uh, let's put the fishing hook down here. And we should probably drop some of this stuff too. All right, so it's just about sundown. We're going to want to make another fire here, I think. Uh, because I should cook. I think. I think that's the move. Um, let's take this with us. We have a bunch of sticks here in the wood. Uh, first things first. Let's go ahead and spark up the torch. I'm gonna want to get a couple more torches going too, but I think realistically we want to, while we have some time here, we want to make... Like as many, to uh, not, not as many torches, but make the food and teas um, and try to get things prepared for tomorrow. So let's go ahead and start this fire here. 80% chance. We don't need that book. We're going to try to get rid of it. And then depending on what we have for materials, I might make some pancakes, um, maybe some bread. I'll see what other cooking stuff we can make. And I definitely want to make some more um, some more tea. So we'll move all these right now. That should stop them. 
prevent them from burning. And let's get these sticks. And where's that wood? Uh, gonna have to pick it up last, I guess. All right. Let's go ahead and throw that in. We'll add the firewood and we'll add a couple sticks. We'll do two hours for now. I will keep, actually, I will pull the torches now while I remember. We'll put that away. I'll probably get like six of them. I think I had two, so that's three and four. That's five. They all suck too. The crappy torches, man. And this should be six. It's not so bad. Put that through. All right. Um, let's eat quick. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and eat that. And we can drink. We can drink. Yeah, we'll drink. Perfect. And just check these real quick. Make sure they're not burning. Uh, which one of them would finish? Come on. Hot, hot, hot. Yep, yep, yep. Good. Okay. Um, hmm. Let's pick up the cooking pot. Let's go get the skillet because I think I need that. So for the porridge, I can do it in the regular pot, right? We need the oats. Uh, let's just grab all of this here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to look into the broth too. Need one of these. I'll take that, 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 and that too. And this, uh, we can leave. Yeah, it's probably fine there. Put that there. All right. Um, let's go upstairs. I think we're heavy again. That's fine. But essentially, we're going to want to cook. So let's put the cooking pot or skillet. Perfect. And what can we actually cook here? So we can make pancakes. Uh, we need cooking level three for this. What about the broths? Like the broth. How do I cook a broth? Uh, I need stews and stuff, right? We need rabbit. Okay. I need broth. How do I make that? Oh, here we go. Oh, the tarm again. Hmm. Okay, that's cool. In the meantime, let's go ahead and make the porridge. Oh, we'll get that going. We will also get another, um... Hmm, potato? It just takes so long, though. Let's cook the, uh... Pancakes. Cool. We got that. Let's add some uh, sticks here. Get another hour going. All these are good. We're pretty decent on water. Man, we that took forever. Like, <laughs> I lost all my light. Um, we have the lantern still. Yeah, we can use it, but I don't want to. I'm going to just kind of chill here in the dark. Uh, four minutes, two minutes. These are all hot. Uh, I guess I could use a couple pieces of coal just to kind of keep some water going. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, we have... We'll take that. Can we do another one? Yeah, I might as well cook some more porridge here. And then let's go ahead and take that too. Can we do another pancake? Uh, we can. Yeah, that's good. Let's do it. Cool. That's good. And we can eat something now. Maybe we eat the pancakes? Because that's like 500 easy calories, right? Uh, let's go by condition. Okay. I definitely want to cook that uh, potato before it goes bad. And we will go ahead and eat the potato now, or the pancakes now, rather. Perfect. And what else we got? Those are all good. One minute there, take it. And one minute till ready there. Uh, should we cook another porridge? Hmm. I don't think I want to cook another one. I kind of have two already, right? So we cook that there. Make another pancake. 
And I'll probably stop there on the pancakes. And we can cook this other potato. We'll do that. And then I think we'll do teas and water next. So we're good there. We just pass the time on these. Take it. And let's get a water going. Okay, 30 minutes. How are we doing on time here? Perfect. Okay, what do we have? Can we read? I don't know if I have the books on me. I think it was over here, right? Put them down. Yes. Uh, which one of these was it? Find out. All right. Uh, the books are here. I already... Okay, this one's almost done. So let's just keep them both. Let's turn this off. And we're good here. 30 and 30. Put this away. And we should be able to read with the light from the fire. So one hour. Ooh, will that make that burn? They might burn. Okay, we'll wait. Uh, what else can we do? Can we prepare some rose hips or something? We could. So let's do that. That's 15 minutes. But we'll do that. We'll drink a little bit too. Maybe one of these sodas. That gives us a little bit of calories as well. 30 minutes till boiled and 9 minutes till ready. Let's go ahead and make another rose hip if we can. And we cannot. How about repairing? Oh, I want to repair that bedroll. And I think in order to do it, this is 15 minutes. So let's break this down. Very good. Let's check the fire. That's 50 minutes until burned. So we'll take that. And that's 9 minutes till boiled. Let's go ahead and make a tea. We can cook a couple of herbal teas tonight, right? Uh, anything else? How are we doing here? I think we'll go ahead and do one more coal. And we can actually drop these, I think. Cool. Uh, we might actually read in the morning. Uh, but let's go ahead and do this. And then let's make, I think, another tea, right? Let's get a couple teas going. I have some rose hips. Let's cook that up. And we'll take that. We'll do another herbal tea. Cool. And I'm basically just going to get the teas going now. Uh, we can drop this or place it, right? And we can just move that out of the way. Uh, we got seven minutes there and seven minutes there. Can we make another... Can we prepare anything else? Or is there anything we can quickly sew up? 86%, 90. There's 71 there. 64 here. And 48 here. Uh, 87, 91, 72, 82, and 61. So we do have a little bit of stuff that we need to fix up here. This is probably going to take an hour, right? Yep, that'll take an hour. Alright, so it's not going to quite be feasible to repair everything tonight. And what else do we have? The banged up tomato soup. Let's cook that. Because if I'm going to get food poisoning, I want to do it before bed. We can sleep the twelve, the 10 hours to, to cure it. We, this is going to burn. Let's uh, cook another one. And this is good. Yes, it is. All right. We're going to drop the other tea here. And we can drop this one as well. I wonder if they stay warm in your inventory if you're by the fire. That would be interesting to kind of test. Seven minutes, seven minutes. Uh, pretty much just nothing I can do here. We're going to just pass the time. And we will... Still 25%. We'll eat this now. And then we will take the tea. And... Okay, we cooked that whole other box of tea. What are these? 220, but I think you get two of them. Takes 40 minutes. I'm not interested in it. Um, let's see. I have that other 
uh, cooking pot, right? So let's put that on a stove. And then let's go ahead and cook a full batch of water. And that should take two hours. Cool. We will grab another coal. And we'll put that in there. Um, I know I said earlier I don't really want to use a ton of the coal, but I, we're not going to get very far in these sticks either, and that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to add fuel. Let's uh, add that, right? So that's two hours right there. We can drink some water. We're about to make a whole batch of it. And I want to save some room for a tea. These are all cold. Uh, we can eat this too. And then maybe read. We can finish this book. Yeah, that works. And then in the morning, maybe we repair the bedroll. I think that's probably something we would like to focus on. Where is it here? Uh, how, what does it take to repair? Cloth in 45 minutes. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that now. Cool. All right, that's good. That's back. 88%. And 44 minutes will boil dry. And we'll just pick it. Oh, don't drink it. Don't drink it. Dang. <laughs> I can't believe I just did that. Well, whatever. We needed. We're gonna need to top off on water, anyways. And uh, these are all good. Nothing's burnt, right? Perfect. Uh, we'll take the last two torches, just because I'm not gonna be able to get another one, right? Yeah. We'll go ahead and add that, and we'll take one more. Cool. And I'm going to basically hydrate. Uh, we should be good to go to sleep here. We'll hydrate. Uh, I was going to drink a herbal tea, right? Yeah, we'll drink that one. Since it's warm, might as well get the bonus. And before this one goes out, go ahead and place it. It went out, and uh, we should be good now to go to sleep. Top off our water. And we should be good to go to sleep, and I think that's going to do it. Getting cold. It's 46 degrees, 10, 750. We're good on... Yeah, we're good on um, calories. Um, what's that? Yeah, let's go ahead. I think 10's good on a uh, interloper. 10 is the number you want to do uh, for the multi for the full multiplier, which should recover our condition, and we should get uh, improved rest, right? Yeah, that's much better. Cool. Let's uh, drink. And uh, yeah, very cool. So it was a little bit of a organizational episode today. Um, you know, there was quite a lot to get done, getting the base established. It's a mess right now. We'll probably organize a little bit more as time goes on. But I think in the next part, we will officially start looting Mystery Lake and uh, checking things out. It is the morning of day eight now. So we will look to get uh, Mystery Lake uh, sorted and maybe start heading our way over to Muskeg. We have... um. In terms of scrap, we have three pieces. I think we need at least five for the hatchet. I'll double check that in between parts. Um, but if it's at least five, great. If we find the hacksaw, then we'll be good to go with getting the rest of the scrap. But I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please drop a like. It helps me out very, very much. And I will catch you all in the next one. Bye, guys.